Science Central. By the time most tumors are found, biopsied, and diagnosed, cancer is often too advanced to be easily stopped. Ultimately, our, the goal of, of all of this kind of research is to detect cancer early enough so that it can be cured. So Munish Tavari and his team at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle are excited about a discovery they made partly by accident. They were studying microRNAs in human tissue samples. Those are tiny pieces of the genetic material RNA that are known to be altered in cancer. The samples are kept cold because if they thaw, the RNA quickly degrades. One of the samples had been left out at the bench uh, for longer um, than, than it was supposed to. And the surprise here really was that the rest of the RNA molecules were all degraded, but the microRNAs had completely survived. That meant the number of microRNAs could be counted in blood samples. As they wrote in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, they then looked for microRNAs in the blood of patients with advanced prostate cancer as well as healthy people. In a large majority uh, of the cases, just by measuring the amount of microRNA in the blood, we could tell who had cancer and who didn't. Tavari points out that this experiment only proves the concept of a cancer blood test. The next step is to find the best microRNAs for identifying each type of cancer and see how early they can be detected. I'm Brad Closa. Thank you.